So in this video, we're going to be unleashing the power of AI to learn to drive a Lamborghini. Since I do not yet have a fleet of real Lamborghinis at my disposal though, our AI is going to be using a virtual wheel in the game Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. So if all goes according to plan, our AI should be evading the police in no time. I mean, what could go wrong? Beyond the challenges posed by a relentless police pursuit, our AI will be starting off from a mere 20th position and have to compete in a high-speed showdown with 19 other racers on the treacherous Shanghai Hustle course. The AI is going to start off knowing absolutely nothing about what it has to do and is only going to see what a human would see, except much, much blurrier. But now that we've set the stage for our AI's high-octane adventure, we need to give our AI some actions it can take in the game. To start off with, we're of course going to need to be able to hit the acceleration, but since we want this AI to be able to turn like a pro, it's also going to be able to drift in either direction. While drifting looks cool and definitely has its place, in this game it's definitely not the right tool for every situation though, so our AI is going to be able to also do a regular turn. Lastly, this game also gives us the option to use nitrous oxide, a gas capable of delivering an explosive burst of speed to really gift our AI with all the power it could want. Now that our AI has its driving actions finely tuned, it's time to delve into the heart of challenge, rewards and punishments. These absolutely make or break whether an AI learns, so it's really important to try and get these right. Drawing from our experience with Mario Kart AI, it does give us a pretty good intuition about where to start. So using that information, our AI will be rewarded for both the speed it travels at and hitting some checkpoints which are spread evenly throughout the track. On top of this though, we've added a new layer to our reward system, one that penalizes recklessness. Lamborghinis are feats of engineering and art, and damaging one is pretty frowned upon, so our AI is going to face consequences for every big collision it accumulates along the way, ensuring that our digital driver learns not only to win, but to do so with grace and precision. Lastly, if our AI's speed drops too low for too long, it will get kicked back to the start of the level, strongly encouraging it to maintain a decent speed. When we put our meticulously crafted reward and punishment system to the test, the results were, well, not quite as we'd hoped. It turns out our AI had a strategy of its own in mind, which wasn't exactly what we had in mind. In Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, there's a bit of a loophole where you can maintain a kind of medium speed by hugging the walls, avoiding the risk of a head-on collision. Our AI, being the clever algorithm it is, quickly realized this and opted for a very cautious approach. While it managed to earn rewards for its speed, it wasn't exactly the heart-pounding racing experience I had hoped for, so it's back to the drawing board to design a better reward system for now. To tackle the challenge head-on and put our AI back on the fast track, I knew we needed to find a way to stop it from hugging those walls. After some deep dives into the game's inner workings, I uncovered a potential solution. You see, in Need for Speed, there's some nice visual details, sparks that fly out when your vehicle touches the walls. Although the game's developers probably just added that for show, it's rather useful for me, and by diving into the game's memory, I was able to pinpoint the code responsible for generating these sparks. Using this, I updated the code so that whenever those sparks appear, it's no longer just a cinematic effect, but a signal. A signal for our AI to face consequences for its wall-hugging tendencies. I integrated a system that punishes the AI for excessive contact with the walls, and if it persists for too long, we're just going to hit the reset button. Armed with our innovative new reward system, I released our AI for a night of intensive training. The initial results were promising, we witnessed significant improvements in its driving skills compared to the last version. However, the road to victory proved to be a bit more challenging than expected. As the AI raced through the streets, it encountered a major roadblock, both literally and metaphorically. Around halfway around the track, there's a tricky transition from the motorway to the street, which commonly causes traffic jams. Our AI, while skilled in many ways, struggles to navigate this chaotic scenario and lets its speed drop too low a lot of the time, causing it to just get sent back to the start. Since the AI didn't look like it was going to get past this for some time, I decided to give it one more attempt. I decided to allow the AI to spawn both at the start of the track and just after the motorway, meaning it could actually get some practice at the second half of the track. I also fiddled around with the size of the rewards the AI was getting, in an effort to try and make its learning a little bit more stable. With all this in place though, and kindly asking for a quick like and subscribe for the video, we're all set to get into the final training of this AI. So after just two hours of training, the AI is unsurprisingly struggling, jumping between violent high-speed crashes and slamming on the brakes so hard that the car stops moving. 
This shows a valuable lesson that applies both in the real world and in virtual worlds. Just because you own a ridiculously expensive car doesn't make you a skilled driver. Just like in the real world, mastering the art of racing requires finesse, practice and patience. While this AI is struggling for now, we'll be checking back in later and hoping to see some improvements. After a solid 4 hours of training, our AI is showing some promising signs, though it's far from reaching the top of the leaderboard. It's learned to keep its wheels on the road for far longer, and with a lot less crashes, which is a definite step in the right direction. However, as it progresses to the new sections of the track, it encounters some unique learning challenges that remind us it's not quite ready to claim victory just yet. Nevertheless, these early signs of potential are pretty exciting, as it looks like we could soon have a decent racer. On a side note, it's worth mentioning that part of the reason that AI faced such difficulty in this game is its visual complexity. Unlike some of the simpler, more straightforward games we've tackled in the past, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is a visual feast filled with intricate details like buildings, streets, and countless other elements. These complexities pose a unique challenge when the AI is learning to navigate a world it may not immediately understand due to the nature of its surroundings. After an intensive 8 hours of training, our AI has undergone a remarkable transformation and now shows the promise of a skilled driver. While it still has moments of hesitation and occasional slowdowns, the rate of improvement is pretty impressive. Many other AIs I've trained have taken over a day to reach even a basic level of competence, whereas this AI seems to be able to reach it in just 8 hours. For the very first time in this journey, our AI has not only completed a race, but is also showing signs of being a real contender. It may not have clinched victory just yet, but it's inching closer with each passing hour. In a recent race, it even managed to secure an impressive third place out of 20. It's clear that in just a few more hours of training, our AI is poised to grasp that coveted gold medal, or whatever accolade awaits the best among a group of 20 digital felons. One more thing to consider with this AI is how blurry the images it's learning from are, especially with a game with this much detail. I actually tried increasing the resolution of the images, but this quickly backfired as it made the training process around five times slower, sadly making it an infeasible solution. I'll have to keep looking to improve the code though, and hopefully I can get things sped back up despite the larger images. Here we are at the culmination of an incredible journey with the final version of our AI after a full 10 hours of training. The AI has evolved into a formidable racing force, displaying few signs of weakness and consistently claiming victory in nearly every race it competes in. What truly sets this AI apart for me though is its resilience. Unlike its predecessors, it deftly navigates through traffic jams and handles challenging situations with grace, demonstrating a real level of adaptability and skill. In the realm of AI development, 10 hours is like the blink of an eye, making this rapid progress pretty remarkable. While I can't pinpoint the exact reason for this, whether it was our refined reward system, strategic resets, or a combination of factors, one thing is clear, something truly did the trick. The success of this AI has not only raised the bar, but also opened new doors of possibility, and has really inspired some fresh ideas and innovative approaches that I can't wait to explore in some future videos. If you're wondering how the AI progressed over the 10 hours, here's the final training graph. Although this graph is a running average, which will smooth it out a little bit, it amazed me how smooth it was regardless, as even with averaging, reinforcement learning tends to produce AIs which spike up and down chaotically, whereas this AI seemed to have a constant, slow and steady progression, which is pretty unique. Also, if you're interested in how this AI differs from my previous videos, the answer is pretty much just the actions, rewards and the game itself. The underlying AI that attempts to learn is pretty much the same. One of the most amazing things about reinforcement learning is that it creates AIs capable of almost any task, meaning algorithms can be simply taken from one task to another with almost minimal changes, really proving how generalizable they are. Thank you all so much for watching and be sure to check out some of my other videos like an AI learning to play Mario Kart or New Super Mario Bros. I hope this video made your day just a little bit better and I hope to see you again in the next one.